Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields, and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I uh, bind off my hooded uh, hat cowl uh, for my Little Red Riding Hood. Um, this is the doll pattern, um, but you can use it for the adult. Um, oh, it's my Valiant Poncho. And here's the little uh, red one that I did and it's a cowl at the bottom and then you knit flat for the hood and then i'm going to show you how to do this seam here um, which i really enjoy this bind off technique um, i'm using lion brand woolly stick and quick yarn with size and i believe i have 11 knitting needles you want to use it have an even number of stitches and i took my cable and kind of pulled it out the back like i'm going to knit in the magic loop method but really I'm gonna knit both sides together. Actually, I'm gonna crochet them together. So I have a size 10 crochet hook. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the stitch as if to knit. Without dropping it off, I'm gonna go into the back stitch as if to knit. And then I have my yarn back behind both needles. I'm gonna hook it through both stitches and I do it loose, loosely. And then I'm gonna drop both stitches off at the same time. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way across. So I'm going into as if to knit, as if to knit, and then pull it through. And then we're gonna bind it off. So I'm gonna slip this first stitch over the second stitch. So I always only have one stitch on my needle my crochet hook. And I had the habit of using that front one, but it's really easier to use the back needle um, because it gets in the way if you don't use a, the back needle. All right, so I'm gonna go in as if to knit, as if to knit, pull both through, slip off, and bind off. And I do it with, um, I would say, a medium tension. You don't want it too tight or too loose, definitely. And sometimes I have to do it a couple times to get my tension just right. Thankfully, there aren't too many stitches on here. stuck here. As if to knit, as if to knit. Pull it through and bind off. And then I slipped them off without. So I'm put them back on. No, oh. my yarn's all tangled up. All right. So put that stitch back on. Actually, we're gonna put them both back on because I did. I need to bind it off. All right. As if to knit, as if to knit, pull it through and slip it off. I have not tried this in the knit one, purl one pattern because I want the ridge, all the stitches to be the same on each side. I'll show you here in a minute. There, I'll slip that off. All 
All right. So on the ridge, see so you have the knit stitches on that side and you have the purl stitches. So that gives you your ridge. And for the little red riding hood, a hat, it is flat, but you can kind of pull that and you can shape it. So you have a little bit of a, a point on, on the hood. I uh, could do it um, green for, for an elf. That would be cute for a Christmas elf even. Black, you can do Robin Hood. So um, yeah, that has a lot of possibilities. Um, and then there's the red one. It's a little bit harder to see. That's why I wanted to make one in a lighter color. So it was easier to see how to make that ridge in your hat. And I will take some pictures here. of the little girl in her little red riding hood. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope to see you guys again next time. Thank you so much for watching.